it's such a strange record to make because in a way, like I, I had some leftover tracks, which really ended up to be only, um, I think, two on the entire album. But those were like the inspirations to go back in the studio, not to mention the success of the last record and kind of riding that wave and not wanting to kind of crash down yet. And then um, I had gone in the studio with Pharrell um, last year, around the same, like around the same time, and we wrote Orange County Girl, Winded Up, Breaking Up. We wrote a bunch of songs just randomly, not even thinking I was going to make a record. So then I was like so close to having an album, so I'm like, oh, a couple more songs and I can, you know, I can have a record, and then I got pregnant. So I basically went from that to like being totally uninspired about music and just doing the baby and eating and watching TV and sleeping and mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of doing that pregnancy thing to like having Kingston and then thinking, oh, I'm so close if I go back in the studio. But then when I went back in the studio, I didn't have any of the same inspirations because it's been so long, like, since I started it. And I had, on the last record, I was kind of over all the 80s inspired music that inspired the last record. So I just was like, went in the studio, tried to make the songs that I thought were really good, and, um, and this is what the record turned out. So it's kind of very modern, do you know what I mean? It's kind of, most of the record I wrote in the last couple months. And I was only just finishing it up last week or two weeks ago when I was just like, the song was already on the radio and I was still singing my vocals for some of the songs. And so I don't really think it was hard. I think it was, um, I just think it kind of flows all together, even though it was kind of bits and pieces all mashed up. Honestly, I, my intention when I first thought about going back in to do another record um, early on was to do something very similar. You know, like the idea was, whoa, I, I loved how this went. I'd love to do more of that. And then by the time, like I said, by the time I finished it, I was on a whole other journey. And um, I think the idea was just to make something good. And, you know, and, and I mean, I guess in some ways it's similar in the fact that I called it the sweet escape. And that means to me that, like, you know, it's the same thing with the last record, really kind of ear candy, easy music, up for the most part, upbeat, although there are a lot more kind of melodic, um, a little bit more romantic, kind of, I don't know, what do you call those kind of songs? Emotional songs, and on the last record, which wasn't intentional, I think it's just more natural for me to write that way. Like on the last album, I forced myself to kind of write surface, really kind of dance music, where this time around I was just a little bit more, I guess a little more honest, a little more real. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's just it's just the way it turned out. I didn't really have any huge direct plans for this record.